Oh, the expansive balcony of King Coconut's place. Uh, yeah, directly fronts the uh, Atlantic Ocean. Yeah. Full moon. Uh, uh, salty sea breeze. Uh, foamy lapping waves. Uh, yeah, that full moon uh, lording over this uh, divine wedding of reception. Uh, lost seagulls. You get the picture, okay, yeah. That's when, okay? Crossroads is a whole 40-hour video performance. Tennyson introduces Sphinx for the first time to Safa and sexy saxophone. Yeah, and, uh, well, the Egyptian. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's psychic. Uh, and uh, up to his eyeballs. Huh? He is instantaneously stunned by the intense shock the energy power pouring back and forth between these less dags from New York. Sphinx honors them by telling them that uh, well, uh, what is Shakti? Yes, Sachs, puzzled. Oh. Well, Sphinx explains. Uh, Shakti is the universal female energy that powers the cosmic gods. Uh, Shiva, the destroyer, then tears it all down. A male bullshit balancing trick there. Uh, yeah, female Shakti intuits, creates, births, reincarnates, communicates, divines, befriends, heals. And she takes the garbage out and, and she's just getting going. Uh, well, a maximum blowout epiphany. Uh, you know. George A. Bolt's uh, Sphinx's uh, crown chakra right now, it comes down, and that is it, that the inherent weakness, the fundamental flaw of the brotherhood, of the shamans, too many dumb fuck men involved, too many swinging dicks. Need some cosmic cunt to balance it out. Dire, dangerous lack of uh, female shakti chicks, yeah. So, uh, Sphinx welcomes Sappho and uh, Zach. So open their mouths so he can uh, gift them with uh, that big a dose of, of uh, white crystal acid. Oh, they've never had that before. Uh, they do not realize that the white crystal straight out of the lab, not tab, not on paper, uh, comes on in like 12 seconds. Right from your tongue into your bloodstream to your brain. Boom, boom, boom. Ah! None of that 20, 40 minute waiting around. Did I really get off? Kind of, kind of stuff. Uh, you know. Um, rocket fuel. Straight up to the mystic moon. Lording over San Juan Bay. Hey. Whoo! Trip of a lifetime. Ow! There goes the solar system in the rear view mirror. Uh, trip of a lifetime, huh? Sphinx is laying on them right now. And I'm not talking about the LSD. He's going to set them free. Sphinx solemnly beseeches. They become his soul sister mates for life and the overstocked uh, brotherhood of men <laughs> what to fly with him to Greece tomorrow morning so that they're what Oh, 
uh, combined intertwined super uh, shakti uh, uh, a sexual sex fun juice a smoothie mush intuition wisdom compressed in the blender of blissfulness for all eternity right now the eternal moment to crack wide open ah the two unsolvable mysteries of ancient grace only that mush juice female smoothie okay um i hope you know this two ancient mysteries of grace sounds f extremely familiar to you I mean, I just ran it on about about all that like, like two chapters ago. Remember, you do not remember a thing. First mystery: What uh, was the drug that the Oracle of Delphi swallowed, <laughs> sniffed, or? Mm -hmm. uh, shoved up her ass as an atheogenic suppository so that she could flip out in uh, genuine let's get the fucking job done trance. What, Greeks? You want to you want to found a colony? Well, that's the Greek island for you, bitch. Oh. Uh, second mystery, the least increase of the Elysian Mysteries, pretty mysterious already, huh? Um, Spellbound, they couldn't get away. They were bound by spells. The attendees, uh, the party animals. I mean, everybody could come, slaves, aristocrats, even Romans. Um, yeah, and they passed out. What did priests do? They passed out these cups overflowing with a liquid elixir they called... Kiki on? Hell. Hell. I think so. He's desperate. Huh? Hell. Well, look, like, Blockbuster Delphi performance, that went on century after century, and the Lisa Mysteries, 2,300 years, continuous shows, Blockbusters, festivals once a year, all the drugs you could drink for free. And, uh, Broadway, take a walk on the wild side, okay? We're talking 200, 300 years. Fuck that New York Minute bullshit. Oh, well, now things becomes effusive. Especially uh, the Brotherhood. And now with you, souped up sisterhood. We yearn to synthesize uh, these drugs, these two ancient mystery drugs, to save the planet. And to make a lot of money. Uh, okay. All right. The day's dikes. Mmm. Uh, mmm. Mmm. I mean, they could barely get out of the shower. They're so stoned. All those Spanish tiles, those iguanas crawling over chameleons. Uh... Just be in there and soap up and just just have a fuck right there. Uh, they agree. To the whole enchilada. Yeah. So, just to be clear, I mean, she's, she's been around, all right? Safa wants to, like, make sure this is nailed down with rubber nails. Summarizes the arrangement. Okay, look. Sphinx, look at me. You're talking free trips to Greece, all expenses, all of all, every coffee, every ouzo. You got it covered. 4,000 acid trips to keep our uh, dyke, psychic, shakti cunt on fire so we can juice up and, and solve your issues. Then that dream, 
post vacation. Now, this is what I'm adding on. Dream post vacation to lesbian island. <laughs> the Greek island of my dreams. You got Samos, you got Patmos. What's what's the sandwich in between? It's a love juicy cunt sandwich of, of Sappho, the original Sophic bitch. My namesake. For Christ's sake. And that's not all. <laughs> he, he, he's, he's, he can just. 